protein synthesis. We should start by asking ourselves what is the job of DNA. The first job is to replicate itself. The second job is to provide instructions to do everything that we do inside the cell, whether that's building proteins directly or the enzymes or hormones that are responsible for building it. We've already looked at DNA replication. We are now about to start to look at protein synthesis. Before we can look at protein synthesis, we need to ask where the key events occur within the cell. Well, DNA is stored in the nucleus, while ribosomes are out in the cytoplasm. Remember, they can be free or bound. The first part of protein synthesis occurs in the nucleus, and the second part out in the cytoplasm. Whoa, stop, stop. There's a slight problem. How do we get between the nucleus and the cytoplasm where the ribosomes are. The solution to this is that messenger RNA acts as a messenger carrying the message from DNA where it is safe in the nucleus to the ribosomes where it is made. We can summarize protein synthesis in two steps. In the nucleus, DNA is transcribed into mRNA. This is called transcription, and it is the first step. The second step is where we build a protein from the information on the messenger RNA, which occurs in the ribosome. This is called translation, and it is the second step. The common element is that mRNA moves from the nucleus to the ribosomes. Together, these two steps, transcription and translation, make up protein synthesis.